Jessica Jones is the brand new TV show from Marvel that's currently on Netflix. It's about this character called Jessica Jones who used to be a superhero but then something happened in her life and now she's living in New York and she's trying to be a private investigator and she does all these different cases for different clients and one day she finds out that a certain somebody from her past has come back to New York City and she's just getting all these recollections and all these flashbacks and she needs to find this person and stop him from doing whatever he's about to do. Now when I first heard about this show I was like I know nothing about Jessica Jones, I'm not going to be interested in the slightest but then I read that this is set in the same neighbourhood as Daredevil and that this show is going to be alongside Daredevil kind of like a build up to a crossover called The Defenders so I was like okay Daredevil is awesome so Jessica Jones I'm in let's do it and I've spent the last two days binge watching all of Jessica Jones it's taken me till now to get a review why Star Wars Battlefront that's why but now I've watched all of Jessica Jones and what are my thoughts on it I love it. I absolutely loved this show. First off, the character of Jessica Jones herself, I found her to be fascinating. On the outside, she's curly, she's an alcoholic, she just looks like she does not give a damn about anyone or anything. But deep down inside her, she has a heart. When stuff goes bad in this show, she breaks down, she cries, she does have feelings and emotions. Plus, on top of that, she's really, really smart. She knows how to get stuff done. She knows the inner workings of the business and where she has to go, what she has to do, what she has to look up to get the information she needs. She's not just some asshole who's trying to be a private investigator. And Christian Ritter's performance was just awesome. I loved her as Jessica Jones. She brought her A-game in every single episode and for me she was one of the big things that carried the show. Speaking of things that carried the show, one of the other things that made the show really really great was David Tennant as Kilgrave, the main villain. He was an awesome villain. He is somebody from Jessica Jones' past who traumatised her, he did some really messed up stuff to her and now he's back in New York City and he's up to no good obviously because that's what villains in the Marvel Universe are going to be up to, no good. But the thing is with Kilgrave, he's a mind controller to an absurd degree, I mean he'll go up to someone and just say, you, get that coffee, show it in your face and the person just go, <laughs> it seriously is that bad, I mean he just tells people to do things and they do it because of how powerful his mind control is. And when you see him do these things in the show, like the bit with a guy where he makes the throw the bird and not coffee in his face, he's just like, how on earth are they gonna stop this guy? And David Tennant was just awesome as Kilgrave. He had really good dialogue, he was a smooth talker, he's always like he's always like really chilled out about the situation, and I just loved him. David Tennant was amazing as Kilgrave. The rest of the supporting cast did great jobs too. You have Mike Coulter as Luke Cage, who is a quiet badass. Plus he was really important to the show. He wasn't in this show just to be like, hey, you know, I'm gonna be in the next Netflix series, you know, Luke Cage, I'm in the next one. Yeah, that's why I'm in this show right now. He wasn't in the show for that. He literally was important to the story. Now, if I were to categorise Jessica Jones, I would say that it's a superhero psychological thriller, but with more emphasis on the psychological thriller than the superhero. Now, if I'm going to compare this show to Daredevil, it has a lot more superhero content in it than Daredevil did, but it isn't what necessarily drives the show and makes it great. Jessica Jones does a really good job at having all of these superhero elements in it, but keeping it gritty, grounded, realistic, and dark. I mean, believe me, it gets dark sometimes and bloody. Very bloody at times I'm like whoa Marvel you're showing blood Kevin Feige feel free to put this in Iron Man 4 I'm just saying but the thing that engaged me the most about the show was how personal the story is and all the directions that it went Jessica Jones feels obligated to stop Kilgrave from putting women through all the torture and traumatic experiences that he put her through and that allows the story to go really deep down into personal backstory with Jessica Jones and Kilgrave and it just takes it in all these directions that I did not expect I mean there were some times in the last few episodes where my jaw just dropped at something that happened and I was like I was not expecting this from, from Jessica Jones, I just wasn't. In short, Jessica Jones is a character driven superhero psychological thriller which is intriguing, suspenseful, very well acted, really well written, entertaining, surprising, shocking and occasionally funny. I loved the show so I am going to give Jessica Jones full marks 5 out of 5. This review might have been a bit vague, I know, but I wanted to keep all the surprises and all the spoilers out of this review. I want you to go watch Jessica Jones and experience all the twists, turns and different directions the show goes for yourself. I really don't want to spoil it for you, so that's why it were a little bit vague, so just watch Jessica Jones. So have you seen Jessica Jones season 1 and what did you prefer, Jessica Jones or Daredevil? Whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comments below and if you like this stuff, be sure to click here to subscribe because i got stuff coming to you guys all the time.